Hey YouTube, it's me, Empress E. I'm back with another one. Emergency is on. So I was doing a channel message about this Master Mason doing spell work. This was just in the last reading that I did, and I just been pondering on that reading because I'm like, okay. I was getting the energy of multiple people doing spell work. But this is a strong masculine energy doing spell work out of jealousy. This person is doing spell work out of jealousy, envy, and feeling rejected. There's somebody that drink a lot. They drown their feelings and they drink. They fake, fake as fuck. This person wear a mask. They could be one way around a, a, one group of people in the hallway around another group of people. But this person is definitely divulging. I don't know why I'm getting that word. They divulging in the dark arts. So this is something 12, 2, 1, 2 on the clock. 2 on the clock. I don't know if y'all can see that. But, um, yeah. Let me read what 2 on 2 is. We got to tone it down. So, okay, this masculine is, is very jealous. They want you to tone it down. They, whatever it is that you're doing, you're doing too much of. In they eyes, you're shining too bright. So, this person wants you to tone it down. Um, it could be emergency. You got somebody coming in. It's a new relationship. Somebody all up in their feelings about you. But I want to read this 212. It say, keep your life positive. Add more positivity in your life. It symbolizes self-confidence. And I feel like that's exactly what you're doing. And this person wants you to kind of stay put where you at. This is the person that's doing spell work on you. I feel like this is somebody that you rejected. You really didn't have no type of connection with this person. And this person know you through somebody, but they really don't know you. This is why they attacking you, Loki. This, per this person is spying on your social media. At this point, I don't even feel like they spying, but I know they under fake profile. This is somebody that got a whole lot of fake uh, social media accounts. Very sneaky, snaky individual. Very jealous hearted individual. Let's get into this. Let's see if these cards fall out. Let's, let's find out a little bit more about this person. I'm not ready to settle down. I want to be single. So this is somebody that want to be single. But I feel like this person is very much so in a, in a relationship. Could be in a whole marriage. This person is definitely misusing their power. Because like I said in the beginning. This person is a master mason. And this person is dabbling in the dark arts. It'll never happen. This is somebody that you rejected. And you and I feel like you didn't even reject this person like in a bad way. I feel like this is just somebody that you you just rejected because you didn't vibe with them because they was toxic. This person is low-key watching. They toxic. This person is unmotivated. They could be Mexican. Like I said, this person wants you to tone it down and they want to stop your money. Look at this shit. And this person want to stop your money out of jealousy. And they could have a toxic relationship when they come down to money. They regret hurting you. So you got somebody that regret hurting you. So this person could be smitten with you, but this person is also throwing black magic on you. And this is just saying, trust God. Because I kept getting that do not fear the unknown. And I've been feeling a lot of negative energy coming my way. But I know it's higher forces involved in this. And there are higher forces involved in this. I've been sleeping like 
a motherfucker. This person could be sending sex demons, your wife. You could be withholding sex. You got this chastity belt on. And they want to know, are you still weak? So this person could know, like, you could be weak for, you know, some people are weak for head. I'm, I ain't going to lie. If you got some, a good head game, I could fall victim to that. Real talk. So... <laughs> This person want to know, are you weak? This person also want to know, are you, 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 you celibate? Hmm. So this person is, um, so what, what's standing out to me is. This person trying to stop your money and they trying to stop you from being celibate. You know, they trying to send these temptations your way. This person won't affect any new relationship that you enter into. Because they got some type of sick fetish about you. This person wants you, but they need the person that they with. Like I said, this person is not ready to settle down. Now is a good time for you to connect with spirit because you are under attack. Especially right now while you manifesting. And that's probably why I've been sleeping a whole lot. Embrace change because something is predestined to happen in your life. Something is being terminated. We got termination here and something is going to knock your socks off. So I feel like it's going to be a change of events where something is going to end. But something is going to begin that's going to knock your socks off. So it's going to be like a Jurassic change that's going to happen in somebody's life. And somebody want to get lit. You know what I'm saying? Somebody want to kick it. Somebody want to swap lives with you. I feel like this this hater right here. Somebody is waiting for you to make the first move. Yeah, somebody is waiting for you to make the first move. This nigga is crazy. Somebody is in a covenant and they're a brother. It's a covenant of brothers. Let's clarify this. I feel like I want to. The justice going to pop out. Justice is being so. That's why I say it's a higher power involved in this. And something that's predestined to happen. That's why you need to trust God. If you feeling unmotivated, it's because it's uh spell work been throwing your way, and I feel like you didn't you didn't got enlightened on that. You're not all up in your head about it no more. You didn't heal from. Whatever this third party situation was, this three of cup in reverse, you didn't disconnect yourself from this. So you could have disconnected yourself from a situation. For your justice, because you got some enlightenment on your healing. And the loneliness by baby face is on. And you got somebody that's that's feeling lonely and they coming after you. They this person is 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 feeding off your energy. That because they see that you victorious and you 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 on a new start, you done went on a new journey. Judgment out here again. New creative endeavor, new passion and start. Or this this nigga got a lot of passion for you. This is something that ended because you were stabbed in the back. 
because there was a lot of conflict and competition. Could be a lot of conflict and competition with a fire sign that you turned down being in the third party with. Because I feel like it was a bunch of like messiness, basically. You got justice for this situation and judgment and because somebody is dealing with karma because you got a new creative uh passion, a new start. The lovers is coming in. So this is all what you manifesting. And this self-love and this you manifesting all this new creative endeavors, new start, new love manifesting giving this love to yourself and there will be a ceremony but you got somebody that want to win at all costs this person is fishy they want to come in with this page energy so some type of information is coming in but you got high priestess you already know the truth when they come down to this situation when they come down to this emperor that you the rest it from you know Somebody is feeling insecure. They dealing with their insecurities. And this is masculine. This person is shielding their heart. Because that was the ending to the situation. And you focused on yourself. The self-worth at the bottom of the day. Ain't no need for me to even shuffle this out even more. You know your self-worth when it comes down to this situation. This person want to know, do you still think of them? This person is going to send you a message. This person is influenced by their community. This person could live at a distance. This person is ready to change their location. This thinking man. So you got somebody that want to come in and, and change some things. This person is in despair. They want to send you a message of concern. They could be going through poverty right now. And they ready to take a journey. So you got somebody that's going through some type of major change when they come down to their community. Love that you are different. This person that's from afar, they love that you are different. Know your fear. At the bottom of the day. And I feel like this is just a fear because this came out in the reverse over this... Uh, This Ten of Swords. So this is saying you could have a fear of some type of ending. A fear of abandonment that you need to work through or this person. But you need to seek the lessons. And nourish your soul when it comes down to being disciplined. Because you know your self-worth. And this person is thinking about you. Saying, stay strong, love without conditions, and embrace spirit and, and be calm during this storm. And seek the lessons of this whole experience, even the bad. And continue to let things flow towards your way, even though you really can't see nothing but the uh illumination from the moon you know what i'm saying like you see the potential of things so
So this is just saying flow with the potential. This saying relax. Relax and focus on your fulfillment. Because this is the moon in, in two of these cards. Well, it's the moon in three of these cards. So, this is just saying illumination is going to happen. <laughs> and look what popped out. Patience. And that's what I was just going to say. Things is going to be illuminated. Right now, things are in the dark because we got three moon cards here. And then this potential is dark. And it's a volcano in the back. So, it's like... Things might look destructive right now, but it's like focus on the potential and your fulfillment and just relax and go with the flow of things. And everything that you need to know is going to be illuminated. There's some stuff you need to release. And this fell over your fears because you protected. This is the protection card right here. And we got fear at the bottom of this deck, too. But let's see what this deck give us. Just love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Persevering. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. So see the good in all things and just continue to persevere for your success. I know that there is no greater thing I know that there is no greater goal than the love. Just know that there is no greater goal than to just love and um, continue to persevere. Know your worth. You protect it. When it comes down to this new start and this creative endeavor, you got a crazy nigga that's thinking about you, but you just need to focus on yourself and nourish your soul right now. And, and and go diving for light. Go within. And focus on the light within. Within you. Now is not the time to focus on anything else. And then say relax a whole other darkness and be at cause. It's darkness all around you. Look. I'm going to show you all this. It's darkness all around you. This is saying relax a whole of it and be at cause. You know what I'm saying. Trust God. You in the world, but not of it. And then inspiration and against the grain was popping out here. So you in the world and not of it. You are inspiration to other people as well as yourself. It's time for you to go against the grain. Get one card from out of this deck, and I'm gonna end the reading. If, if one don't don't pop out, I'm gonna uh, just pick one. All two. Our star chakra, illumination, initiation, and then we have fur to feather friends. So right now, I feel like gracious receptivity. So it's time for you to receive now and not be more of a giver like you are. I feel collective. It's time to focus on your fur and feather friends and just get grounded. And then with the fern and feathery friends, like I get a lot of signs with the birds and, and the animals. So this is just saying, pay attention to your fern and feathery friends right now. You being initiated into something. This is the earth star chakra. Let me read this. I don't think I ever pulled this card. Oneness, collective consciousness, anchoring transmission from the higher realm, sacred earth knowledge, integrating of the divine, working with grid lines. You are standing at a gateway into the unknown with trust in your heart. 
ancient remembering in your soul and inner illumination to the light to light the way you have access to the seat of creation the spark of existence and the codes that hold the blueprint of who and what we are the place is clear and grounded despite moving through multi-dimensional realms and able to bridge words while functioning in physical reality. The higher you reach for the divine and the realm of spirit, the more important it is to anchor deeply to the earth. So the more you go internal, like I was saying, it's a lot that you don't see. And with all these moon cards, with flow, relaxation, and um, fulfillment, the more you, anything, look, Jahan, um, the more you trust in the divine, the more you got to anchor yourself into earth, you know, in order to graces, graces, graciously receive, you know what I'm saying? And you can have anything you want. That's all you got to do is operate out of love and continue to persevere and work on yourself and your creativity in order to get that. And that's the reading, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like the message, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I'm Empress Eda Intuitive Messenger. Thank you guys for tuning in.